that. But uh, yeah, right now, good luck if you do have a ticket. But right now we are looking at our weather changing and we're seeing that, of course, with the daylight saving time change. Sunset today was at 510 and we did warm up today a little earlier, I guess, than usual when you factor in that time change. What we're expecting heading into this week in November, we are looking for our Monday morning possibly to start with fog. We have a dense fog advisory for some spots. So just a heads up for early commuters. You might have to take a little extra time on the roads tomorrow morning. Then it's a warm and humid day. Now on Tuesday, it looks similar, but toward the end of the week, we are going to be turning a little bit cooler. Temperatures will be coming down and humidity will be coming down, not because of a big cold front, but just because of the pattern, which I'll show you. So overall this week looking dry and quiet. And then for next weekend, a big cool down is coming. Those of you who have been hoping and yearning for some actual cool, chilly kind of fall weather, I think you'll get to enjoy it this week. Our highs may only be in the 60s. And as I said earlier, we may be talking about upper 30s north of the lake and upper 40s south. Right now, though, we're in the 70s. Our highs today were mainly middle 80s, about 84, 85 for most spots. Our winds are moving in from the east and southeast, and they are just a bit breezy up to 10 miles per hour. Now, this is visibility in miles, so almost maximum 10 mile visibility for almost all spots right now. But notice the gray shaded area from Baton Rouge to Lake Moripa, Lake Pontchartrain, Lake Bourne, all across the Mississippi and North Shore spots in our viewing area. 11 p.m. until 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, we have a dense fog advisory, meaning the visibility could be down to a quarter mile or less. That would make it hard to drive in. So again, just watch out for that lowered visibility, especially just before and around sunrise, which of course is in the 6 a.m. hour now at 618 expected tomorrow morning, or actually, of course, it will be tomorrow morning. Live radar is showing how quiet we are the next few hours just bring our temperatures down through the 70s. Today we had a slight chance for a shower and you saw a few over there near Baton Rouge, but we didn't really see a whole lot across our area today. We have seen those east and southeast winds bringing in more moisture though. Our lows tonight will be mainly north and south of Lake Pontchartrain in the 60s and we are expecting some patchy fog again, maybe settling in especially after midnight and into the overnight hours till around sunrise. Tomorrow, look for another warm day. It's kind of humid. We've had that muggy feel come back, mostly sunny skies. But then look what we're expecting this week. Wednesday and Thursday, we drop back into the 70s for highs, although these two days we will be not that far away from record highs. Our average high right now is 74 degrees, and we will be getting there later in the week, and then we'll be well below that for Saturday and Sunday. Now, here's why we see that downward trend with the temperatures this week. Late this week, we will have high pressure to our north and this potentially tropical low pressure out to the east of Florida around the Bahamas. The high you can see around it, we will get this northeast flow later in the week, bringing in a dry, cool air mass from the north, and that will be the case through Friday. Then, even if this low, and it does look like it will drift off to the west, here's our next trough with a big cold front to keep that away from us and make our weekend much cooler. So here are the chances for development, not only for that spot, but for another spot, this one is non tropical, but may briefly have some tropical characteristics. So both of these have high chances of developing. But just to give you one more look at what might happen with this area, whether it's able to develop or not, it does look like Florida and the east coast of the US before that front gets in that they'll be looking for rain, wind and also coastal flooding with those winds pushing waters up along coastlines there. So not for us. We stay dry this week, a windy and much cooler weekend is ahead.